Retro in the house. Turok 2008 Touchstone. If you have the game running and you're wondering how to get past the cutscene and red and yellow flashing lights and just get rid of everything else you've installed to try to fix it. And then you're going to end up with Turok installed. And the first thing you want to do is download this. The 4 gigabyte patch. This guy's a master programmer. This patch patches x86 executables in order to let them have 4 gigabytes instead of 2 of virtual memory on x64 platforms comes in handy for games and whatnot. Download it. I downloaded it to my binaries right here. Run it. You're going to have a screen that looks like this. Point it to this executable right here. Turret Game Exec. Hit OK. It's going to say done. Then you're going to run the game. Hit no. Hit no. That's not caused by that patch, but we're going to get into that. Once you get into the game, you're going to go into your options. You're going to set all your settings. Go to 2K. Go to 4K. Go to whatever you want. Uh, keep Anisotropic at 2. But texture and world high. Save it. Um, go ahead and set everything you want. Once you do that, exit the game. This way it saves your settings. Um... If you want, you can run this again. You don't have to. But what you want is the Turok post fix. The post effects fix. Go to files. And uh, motion blur post effects. Um, he increased the FOV and enabled some miscellaneous tweaks. Increased graphics. You know, I don't know what this is, but I downloaded it. to here, unzipped it, and then got these two files and just dragged them right into the Turok folder. That's what causes this. When it says your file is outdated, just hit no. Every time you play the game, just hit no. That'll keep your post fix. Um, get a new game. Okay, so now the game's gonna run fine. Remember, there are no witnesses here. No, no prisoners, no, no witnesses. witnesses. The game's gonna run fine, and the... Not gonna have the motion blur. Whatever fixes this guy, this other guy implemented, should be there. But one way or another, the game's gonna run. It's gonna be able to play. All the way through the end. Windows 11 Pro, AMD NVIDIA,
pretty game. That's Ron Perlman. For him, hit E. <laughs> All wants me to walk you through some of the gear we'll be using once we get the last time. Have we used one of these? Once or twice. And it's right after this cutscene that a lot of people have problems. They get a flashing screen. They get they can't get past the cutscene. And then here's where most people would get the yellow and red flashing light. But not now. Gentlemen, welcome. I, I know you thought you were being transferred to another military prison. prison. But there's, there's been, been a change, change of plans. plans. You, you are now under my command. command. The, the army sees, sees you as a bunch of violent reprobates with no future. And you still can't get past the cutscene. 2008, y'all. I see men who, with the right guidance, could become the best fighting machines the military has ever produced. And that is exactly what I need for Wolfpack. In the world, you step forward. You are the Native American, You're a genius. You're in the Cherokee of Kiowa. I'm guessing Kiowa. And you're looking at these cops, old men. That's it, right to the cutscene, and then back into the game. Watch the way this guy gets blown up the ladder. It's awesome. And survives. I live. Stick with me 
anyone who's played Turok 2008 remembers that nasty motion blur. I mean, it's not perfect, but much better with that post fix. Much better. My favorite. This is my favorite. Look, look, look. Badass, dude. Badass. What is this place? There's, there's that smoke? I bet that's, that's where the rest of the ship, ship came down. down. That's, that's where we want to go. go. And that's it. Save it if you want. If not, quit the game. Um, you're welcome. Like and subscribe. Love, peace, and hair grease.